with new episodes of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law and the arrival of Ander, Disney Plus has a big September filled with major TV show releases. While those are the famous series on the streaming service along with other MCU and Star Wars shows in The Simpsons, there are a slew of TV projects available you might not have realized. In some cases, these are shows that are rent Disney originals and were acquired over the years, while in other situations, they are more adult in content than you probably would expect from Disney+. Regardless, all are worth a look at some point. The Finder, 2012, The Finder is one of the most forgotten about shows from the early 2010s despite the fact that is a spin-off of one of the era's most successful shows. It shared a universe with Bones, but focused on a totally different cast of characters and was loosely based on a book series titled The Locator. The premise saw a war veteran suffer a brain injury that allowed him to see unexpected connections and patterns that nobody else sees, allowing him to help in some tough situations. Jeff Stoltz and Michael Clark Duncan had good chemistry as the leads, though the show was cancelled after just one season. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, 2013-2014, if ever there was a show that seemed perfect for Disney+, Plus, it was Once Upon a Time. The series reimagined classic fairy tales and other iconic stories with a modern twist and was a popular hit for several years. Once it arrived on Disney+, Plus, fans rejoiced at the chance to watch it all again. What is less known is that the spin-off of the series is available to stream as well. Once Upon a Time in Wonderland had a similar setup but was mostly set in the world of Alice in Wonderland. You can even spot a young Millie Bobby Brown in the cast as a young Alice. Alas, this is another show to only last a single season. The Orville, 2017 present, anyone who knows about Seth MacFarlane's brand of comedy knows that it's not exactly meant for the entire family. His humor is aimed at adults, evidenced by Family Guy, Ted, and A Million Ways to Die in the West. That means his work won't typically be found on a service like Disney+. That said, Disney's ownership of Hulu has allowed several shows to be on both platforms with The Orville being one of them. This sci-fi comedy acts as a parody of hits like Star Trek and has actually gotten better with time as reviews have improved since season 1. Runaways, 2017-2019, the MCU shows are among the biggest hits on Disney+, Plus, and fans were excited to learn that the Netflix shows somewhat set in the same universe, like Daredevil and Jessica Jones, are now on the streaming service. However, that means something like Runaways has been overlooked. Originally airing on Hulu, Runaways followed a group of teens who uncover their powers at the same time that they learn their parents are supervillains. The talented and diverse cast was widely praised, and there's even a crossover with another high-quality Marvel series, Cloak and Dagger. The Wonder Years, 2021 present, the 1988 series The Wonder Years is one of the most memorable of its time, helping to set the bar for coming-of-age comedies like Boy Meets World down the line. 2021 saw an attempt to revive it with a different spin, this time focusing on a black family during the 1960s. Original cast member Fred Savage is one of the executive producers, while the legendary Don Cheadle handles narration duties as an older version of the protagonist. Reviews were solid, and it was renewed for a sophomore season, though its addition to Disney Plus wasn't met with much fanfare, meaning it has gone overlooked. Alias, 2001-2006, J.J. Abrams has become synonymous with intriguing mysteries and big projects thanks to his work on Lost, Star Trek, and Star Wars. Before any of those came one of Abrams' best shows, Alias. The spy series followed Jennifer Garner's Sydney Bristow on her missions as a double agent. It might be Abram's most consistent project as the quality was strong throughout, and it made Bristow an icon among baddest female TV characters. 
it's another show that flew under the radar when it was added to Disney+, Plus. yet any fan of the genre is bound to love it. 8 Simple Rules, 2002-2005, also known as 8 Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter, this series brought the incredible John Ritter back to TV alongside another small-screen veteran in Katie Sagel. Together they played the parents on this family sitcom that also helped introduce another TV great, Kali Kyoko, to the world. The old ABC show performed well early on and had a solid fan base, but the tragic passing of Ritter caused production to halt, and when the show returned, ratings dipped. Despite the sadness of the situation, the show is certainly worth a look, especially if you love Married with Children, The Big Bang Theory, or Three's Company. Blackish, 2014-2022, a lot of shows from the ABC network have found their way to Disney Plus without a lot of people even knowing that they're available. Blackish is among them, and it's certainly not a hidden gem as the sitcom lasted eight seasons, won plenty of major awards, and is a landmark show in black entertainment. That being said, not many are even aware that it's currently available on the streaming service. On the surface the premise is simple, focusing on a family's lives and discussing many socio-political issues. As one of the most well-received shows of its era, everyone should give this a shot. Glee, 2009-2015, when Glee first hit the airwaves, it basically took over the world. Ratings were huge, the songs were everywhere, and some of the cast even opened the Emmys. For the longest time, Glee wasn't available to stream as it was taken off of Netflix, and fans couldn't even rent episodes elsewhere. That changed recently and ads everywhere hyped its arrival on Hulu, but not a lot showcased it hitting Disney+. The musical series about a group of high school students joining Glee Club is a blast to watch, while also delving into important themes of race, sexuality, and more. Love, Victor, 2020-2022, in 2018, Love, Simon became a huge hit and was important as the first gay rom-com released by a major Hollywood studio. The success of the show led to a spin-off series titled Love, Victor, set in the same high school a bit later and dealing with another teen coming out of the closet. The show is another Hulu original that found its way to Disney Plus without much fanfare. The third and final season premiered on both platforms simultaneously. The diverse, likable cast helped make every storyline work, and the series was met with strong praise throughout its run.